Hello and welcome to the Exodus channel, your home for Exodus tutorials and the best crypto videos. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons to keep the videos coming. Setting up a brand new Trezor Model T hardware wallet or any Trezor hardware wallet is easy with Exodus. This Exodus tutorial will take you through the steps needed to set up your Trezor wallet. First, make sure any programs that may interfere with the pairing of your hardware wallet are closed, such as the Trezor Web Wallet, Electrum, or MyEther Wallet. Plug in your Trezor and go to Settings. Click on the Devices tab and toggle Detect Trezor to on. If this is your first time setting up Trezor, you'll see a prompt to install Trezor Bridge. Trezor Bridge is an application that allows your Trezor to communicate with Exodus. To install Trezor Bridge, you will need a Chromium browser such as Firefox, Chrome, or Brave. You won't be able to download it with Safari. Because updating Trezor firmware can restore its factory settings, close any apps that might be open that use Trezor, including the website trezor.io. Click Update Now. A message will announce that the update was successful. Your Trezor will boot up as it begins to update the firmware. Do not close Exodus or disconnect the device while the firmware update is in progress. Trezor will auto-restart when finished. Next, Exodus will prompt you to initialize the device by giving you two options, Restore from a Recovery Phrase or Create a New Wallet. Select Create a New Wallet. Give a name to your newly created Trezor wallet and click Confirm. You'll see instructions on your Trezor's screen and you'll be asked if you agree to the Terms of Service. Click the green checkmark button directly on the Trezor touchscreen to create a new wallet. You'll next be asked to create a new PIN code. It can be any length you like, but keep in mind that longer pins are more secure. You will need this pin to unlock your Trezor moving forward. Confirm on the Trezor screen that you understand that you should never make a digital copy of your secret phrase. You will then be shown your 18-word secret recovery phrase. Swipe on your Trezor to view all of the words. Write them down on paper, spelled correctly and in the correct order. Never store them digitally. After you've written down your secret phrase, hold down Confirm on your Trezor device. You will be asked to confirm a few of the words before proceeding. Once created on your Trezor device, Exodus will announce New Wallet Created. Click Pair Now. Pairing may take a few minutes. When it's finished, a message indicates Trezor successfully paired. Click Continue to Portfolio. Back on your portfolio screen, you'll now see your Trezor wallet as one of the portfolio tabs on the top of the screen, alongside your Exodus wallets. Once paired, you can safely and quickly transfer funds between your Exodus and Trezor portfolio. Click on the asset you'd like to move to your Trezor hardware wallet to open the asset screen. Then click the Transfer Funds button on the left side of the Send button. This will let you choose which of your portfolios you'd like to move funds to and from. Note that Trezor does not support all of the assets available in Exodus. If the asset you've chosen is not supported, then the Trezor wallet will not appear as a destination option. A gas fee is required to transfer Ethereum assets to your Trezor wallet. If you do not have sufficient funds to cover gas fees, a notification will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can keep track of your Trezor portfolio, view your addresses, and send funds to your Trezor even when your Trezor is disconnected. If you want to access your Trezor funds in order to send, simply open Exodus, plug in Trezor, and enter your PIN directly on the Trezor touchscreen. We have a lot more videos for you, so just click any of these to keep watching. And if this video helped, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more crypto videos from Exodus.